الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. So I want to show an app that uh, I have found It is a really nice app for um, teaching Arabic students the basics of sarf. And of course, learning sarf a lot of times can take a bit of time when someone's learning. Okay, there's different uh, there's different app web for sarf, and this is one of the apps that I was recommended by a brother. Uh, that he recommended to me and this app it's not free but it is definitely worth it uh, because if I were to buy a book it wouldn't like the book that I would buy for this amount of money uh, wouldn't necessarily compare to all the things that it can do so I want to get into the app and show you a little bit about it and I uh, of course I'm, I have no affiliation with the people that made this app or anything And I'm just making it because I want people to get to know about this app. And if they're able to use this and benefit from it, then that's great. All right. So this app is interesting. At the beginning, it's called a cave. And it's for um, learning about verbs and the conjugation. And so if we look up at the beginning, we have a, a certain uh, we have a certain verb here. And so we can see up here, we see um, belava, okay, belava. And so then if I want to look at some of its, mean, uh, its meanings are on the left here. But I also have its uh, verb forms on the right. So, belaga yablugu. Okay. And if I didn't know that it was um, yablugu, now I know. Uh, ublug. Okay. That's how I say it with the fer um, amur. And then also we have someone who is belif. Okay. And then mablug uh, or bulug, which is the, the, he says verbal noun here, which is the mustar. And mablug is the isam mafrul. Belik isam fa'il. And this is fer amr, ublug, fer amr, yablug, fer mudare, and then embalaga, uh, which is fer uh, madi. So this is it's interesting for someone to be able to use this, and they can look up here. Okay, this was uh, one form. Now there's a couple of different things I'm, I'm pulling up at the top right hand corner here, and so when I look up here, I have either info or verbs. If I were to go to info, what it will do, it will give me, it'll give me like uh, the basic. Uh, of each one of these of web. So you see here we have forms. Forms is going to talk about like the, the basic big, uh, the big category that's going to be in. And then over here, like this types, like sound is, um, is salim, uh, sahih salim. And then we also have, um, this is a hamzated, ham however they're supposed to say it. And then fairly mahmuz, that's the one, uh, you'll see it up here in the in Arabic, up on the top right here. And then we have fairly mudaaf, that's what it says, geminate. Uh, and then and then we have a fairlo mithal, then we have fairlo adwath, and we have a fairlo nakis, and then we have a fairlo lafif, and of course there's um, there's uh, lafif and there's mafruk as well. Um, so let's see if they do that. Yeah, uh, and so this is this is interesting because it will give you a lot of different here. It's just giving you one example. But if you want a lot of examples, see up here the, the info, you can go to um, verbs. Now, so if I want to see a, a couple examples, okay, uh, I want a couple examples here. And so I can get a couple examples for this. Also, if we see over here the subtypes, uh, what we'll see here is we'll see fa'ala yaf'ulu. And then we'll see daraba yadribu, which is fa'ala yaf'ilu. And then we have the next one here, which is fa'ala yaf'alu. Which would be uh, such as defa uh, yad fau, and so and it'll give you a bunch of the different examples of everything that's in the same category. Because of course, with the fair no thulati and mujarrad, then you need to know in kind of which ones are in what categories. And of course, some of this is memorization. Of course, there's there's certain rules that we can come along with um, the fair no thulati and mujarrad. There's certain kind of guidelines that can help you know, okay, what is the fair and the How are you going to say it? But here, it, it will put it all into one category so you can get used to it. Okay, and so this is fa'ila yaf'alu, and such as alima ya'lamu, amila ya'melu. And so we have all of these different ones here that we can look at. And if I wanted to go into one of them, so I said fazia. Okay, if I wanted to go into it, I can look at it and I can see it. Um, this is one way of looking at it. Fazia. And there it goes. It can play a little something or another for you. And then we also have Fazia, um, uh, Yafzau. And then this will give you the 
the mudare, uh, uh, the maldi mudare, fair and amur, and then also here, okay, here this is not this is not fair. This is this is different, oh, of course, because it's from it's from the bab fa'ila. Um, so then the the ism mushabbah would be like um, it would be uh, fazir instead of fazir. Of course, you can have that one, but this is like the normal thing. And it, this is nice that it will give it to you, and it'll also give you. Um, a faza'un, which is the uh, mustard. And of course, the mustard is very important. Everyone needs to learn the mas- masadir of the the everything that's in the that's tulati mujarrid. And so, because this is something you only get by learn by looking at it, and you can't do any qiyas on it. So this is this is definitely very interesting. It'll give you all of, uh, all of these different abweb, and there's there's six abweb, um, but here it gives you just a, a little extra um, here. And and so then if I were to if I were to go in here, and and look at these, I'm gonna get um some some of these uh some of these examples, they they made it a little different here but let's see here so if I were to go into Hamza so if I want to see what does a verb look like when it has Hamza, and this is the verb what does it look like when it's akada yet yet kudu, al akada yet kudu, okay, and then um ajara. Okay, how would I say this if I were doing it in that? Yet, uh, juru. Okay, this is uh, another a way to look at uh, these different things. Okay, so I have a I have a hamza at the at the beginning and whatnot, and so then if I want to have like a hamza in the middle, daba, uh, daba. Okay, yet debu. Is that how I uh, yet abu? Have one, and so okay, yet abu. And then I have, it can tell me how to say these words. Also, another interesting thing. So, going back here. So, if I'm going to go back and pressing up at the top here. And I, and I look back at um, these. What I, can, what I can do is I can go through a single. I can go through uh, each one of these uh, different main sources of, or ways. And I can see how they look in them. So this is interesting, you know, like this is, um, if I were to go into sound or salim uh, or sahih, then I, what I find is abdala, you know, for af'ala. But of course, if it's uh, if it's ajwaf, then it's going to be a little different, adara. Okay, it's a little different because there's a little bit of ilm that happened here. So if I'm going to look at this and I see how does this work out, adaqa uh, yudhiku, okay, adhiku. Okay, we have a little bit of things that are a little different, you know. So this will help someone with, uh, with understanding where the ilal come in, and you can see that. And so this is a very nice app. I, I, I definitely like it. I think there's a lot that someone can use uh, to get to, to know uh, when, they're, when they're working with this app. And also, just to show some of the other things it can do, is if I wanted to go look up a, if I wanted to look up a, a verb, then what I can do with this uh, verb is I can look up the main three letters of it, and then I can find um, something here, such as, let's do, um, qaf, uh, qabala. And so I have here. So, qabila, there's the first one. Um, qabila, and okay, so I have this. If I want to go to the basic root, like this one, it's going to show me all the words, whether or not the word was, in, uh, whether it's a, any, any type of thing that has these three words. But if I want to go to the basic, okay, these are the ones that I have here. Or if I go to the root, which is very interesting, and this is what I, I like to see. So I can see that this word comes in um, bab fa'ila, and like um, this root, uh, these th- root letters, um, qaf, ba, and uh, lam, they come in um, fa'ila, and they also come in fa'ala, so qabdala. Of course, the meaning is different, but it always it has the same meaning of coming together, or uh, of these things coming together, or being accepted, uh, and whatnot, and qabdala. Aqdara, taqabdara, taqabdara, istaqbara. So we have this. And it's very, very interesting how you can see some of these. And some of the words, they'll have a lot of them, such as uh, salima, salama, aslama. And also understand um, these, uh, the translations on the side. While they're nice, it's not complete. It's, they'll give you just kind of one. So a lot of times there'll be multiple meanings for a certain word, um, such as aslam can also have another meaning as well. Um, it could mean like I'm giving something uh, to another in the form of a salam, uh, which is kind of like a, it's a certain type of transaction. And then also salama, like to hand over something, but it also could mean that you gave, um, you gave salams to somebody. 
So, of course, there's a little bit of extra um, things that would be in there. Then you don't necessarily rely on this as a complete dictionary. But the amount of words that it has, I think it's around like uh, 50,000 uh, words. And that's really nice. Like for someone who wants to get a, a basis in, in the language and see some of these um, different uh, words, how they come up. And then if they're wanting to see uh, a couple examples in that certain, like that bab, they can find a lot of examples in here. Uh, such as to add to uh, and okay, how am I supposed to say this in the mudare? And I can look here, and I can see in the mudare yatagad Okay, there we go. Uh, and so this is definitely a great app, and I would I would highly recommend it for someone. Mutagadin, mutagadan, tagadin, tagadi. Yeah, that's a great example. You can even hear someone saying that, which is which is nice. Uh, let me see if I were to do this. Okay, yeah. So down here at the bottom, you can change it to whatever it means here. Uh, and so, and it will also give you things for the, um, like it can change here. It can change it for the mebni lil lil Um which is also another another version here. So if you want to see how is it going to look in the mebni lil uh that's that's also a great way to look at this. And so I hope this is a, a great app and it helps people out uh, and that this is a way for someone to and get to know their uh, the Arabic verb forms a lot more. And uh, if you found this to be a good video and whatnot, then and please like, subscribe, and also um, comment from where you're, where you're at with salams. And if you have any other questions, let me know, inshallah. And uh, may Allah accept this and make it a part of our good deeds. And of course, uh, this subject of uh, sarf is something that like for uh, a non-Arab to learn is very, very important. And you can open up the doors to knowing a ton of words with just a little bit of uh, work in putting in um, trying to figure out, okay, where to, what forms do these come in? Just by learning um, sarf, he can open up his vocabulary by a ton. Especially when he learns, okay, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to find the the root letters? And this will help him out a ton. And um, may may Allah grant us uh, knowledge in the deen and give us understanding of the Quran and Sunnah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika shalom la ilaha illa ant. Wa astaghfiruku wa tubu ilayk.